good evening, doctor. My name is Rose, telephone operator. As a Christian, I believe that Jesus was created by God, our God, our Creator, and was born through miracle. One of my friends, he is a Muslim, and he asked me, he requested me to read the Holy Quran, and I got interest of it. And I found out when I read it that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And my question is, how Muhammad, he was born? Is it through miracle also? She so asked a very good question. She says that the Christian, she's a telephone operator, and she knows that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was created by God. Perfectly right. He was born miraculously by the help of God. Perfectly right. When she read the Quran, she came to know that Muhammad is the messenger of God, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She's asking, how was Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam born? Sister Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born naturally. He had a mother and father. He was born naturally. He was not born miraculously. But if someone tries to say that because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, had no father, therefore he's almighty God, if this is the understanding, that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had a mother and father, Jesus Christ had a mother but no father. So if that makes him a god, then the reply is given in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 59. Inna masala Isa in the like of masala Adam. Khalaqa min turab, summa kala lokun fayakun. The similitude of Jesus in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like Adam. He was created from dust and said, be and it was. If you say that Jesus is God because he has no father, then Adam, peace be upon him, is a greater God. He had no mother and no father. And now it's clear for me. MashaAllah. So All I can promise you is I will continue to read the Holy Quran so that I will learn more. And we are waiting for you to come to the religion of peace, sister. You read the Thank Quran. Thank you very much. And the moment you understand that Islam is the right way of life, if you believe in the Quran, immediately you should accept it. Accept there's no God but Allah and believe that Jesus is the messenger of God and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon the messenger of God. If you believe Jesus is the messenger of God and if you believe in one God who has got no images and you believe Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger who was prophesied in the Bible, as I mentioned, then you become a Muslim. The moment you believe that God is one and Jesus is the messenger, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger, then you submit your will to Almighty God. So do you believe? I do believe that we have only one God. We Correct. are all brothers and sisters. Correct. But do you believe that Jesus is the messenger of God? Yes. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? I've come to know when I read the Holy Quran. But do you believe in it? I believe. So if you believe... I will become to believe. Sorry? I will believe and I will come to believe. I will open my heart to believe what is the Quran is. So do you believe that Muhammad is the messenger of God? I am learning to believe. I am accepting. MashaAllah, if you are accepting, practice comes later on. First you have to accept. That's First, why I promise you that I will learn and I will read more about Quran. Yes, but after So that you, I will know the whole truth. Sister, but when you read and when you believe, you have to accept. Once you accept, then you put into practice. It I will understand it also. Yes, you have to read, you have to understand. And the moment you realize the truth that Almighty God is one, He has got no images, He is not begotten, Jesus is the messenger of God. And if you agree, Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, that means, in Arabic we say Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. The practice comes later on. Practice then fine, you may have to pray, you may have to fast. But one thing is first you have to accept. As you said that we are believers. Believers means you believe there is one God, and you submit your will to God, then you're called as a Muslim. So hope you believe in Almighty Inshallah. God. And do you believe in Prophet Muhammad as the messenger of God? I cannot promise. Okay, fine. But At least. I will try my very level best. Yes, you try and inshallah we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may give you that may give you guidance.